Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to week 8 of my Fanatec GT3 track guide series here on iRacing. And as usual, we're going to be doing it in the Porsche 911 GT3R. So week 8 brings us here to Long Beach Street Circuit. Now don't worry, everything's going to be fine. We just need to go over a couple of things, but it's not as bad as you think, I promise. Now, if you've followed my track guides before, you will know that they are not a place for hot laps. This is a slow, methodical approach to learn the circuit where I show you what I use as braking markers and reference points and talk about the quirks that each circuit has. So as usual, I will show you the flying lap in full and then we'll jump in the car, do a few laps and show you those braking markers and reference points in action. So let's get on track. So here we are then on the main straight here at Long Beach. So as always, I've set the sim time to match the official series. So it's the 7th of August, 2021. And the sim time itself is 2.55 p.m. Break bias, we've gone for 51.8. I found that the lower number is definitely better. However, going as low as 50 or 49 the car is just a little bit unstable on corner entry. So I found that 51.8 is a really good compromise. So Long Beach, it's not as bad as you would think. Street circuits aren't too bad. As long as you can stay out the wall, they're a really good way of gaining safety rating. And also I rating because people push a little bit too hard. So what you've got to do with the street circuit, you've just got to wind everything back a little bit. Just give yourself a tiny little margin of error and you'll be fine. So going down to turn number one, we're going to be in fifth gear. You won't get to sixth gear here unless you've got draft. So we're going to be on the just on the left-hand side of this red line all the way down to turn number one. So as we approach, one thing or one very important thing to bear in mind is don't cross over the blue line into the pit lane because you will get a slowdown. So keep your right tyres just to the left of the blue line. So braking for me here is at the 400. So I'll break in a straight line at the 400, follow the blue line all the way down, down to second gear for turn number one. Now turn one, you turn in much earlier than you would expect here. You would think that you've got to turn in quite late. But you do, you turn in quite early because the track then opens up to the right hand side. Try and stay off the curb on the left here. It doesn't settle the car. You can take a bit, try and stay off it if at all possible. So you get around here on the gas straight away. As I mentioned, the track opens up to the right. Now here, if you get a good exit out there, you can short shift to third. But I found that sometimes that holding second gear here just makes the car a little bit more stable. Now we want to get as close to this wall on the left-hand side as we can because we want to open up this right-hand turn where the fountain is. Now there's a curb that runs all the way around the inside of this um, turn where the fountain is. And it's quite slippy, so I try and stay off it if I can. So then we're going to be down to first gear here. 
Find turning quite late. You can take a little bit of the curve, but you've just got to be really gentle with the throttle. You can't give it too much because it will spin. And as soon as you come out this right turn, we're going to be winding off the steering because we want the car over to the left as we go around this little kink. Up to second gear. Car right off to the left-hand side. Now, the walls are worth mentioning here at Long Beach. Now, at Belle Isle, they're all pretty consistent. And approaching the turns, what you want to be doing is you want to be scraping your car down the wall. As long as you don't run into it with any angle, it's fine to, to scrape your car down. And that just means that you're using as much of the circuit as you possibly can. But there's a couple of them here at Long Beach where they're not consistent. They do kind of jut out that you need to avoid. But this is one that you can scrape on a flying lap. But don't do it in qualifying because it will invalidate your lap. Anyway, so for this turn, you can see the advertising boardings on the left-hand side there. That's where we're going to be braking, or just before there, and turning in at that point. Now, you can take a little bit of this curb on the inside, but obviously it's better if you don't, and you can get on the gas quite early here, or you want to be getting on the gas just before the apex. Then let the car run right out wide. Again, on a flying lap, you'll be able to scrape your car all the way up this wall here. Now, this turn, it's horrible. It's off camber. There's a, a bump just to the left of the curbs that you can see straight ahead. When Long Beach was first released on iRacing, you used to be able to cut this quite considerably and, and effectively just ignore those curbs. You can go to the right of them, but now it's changed. You will get slowed down if you cut this too much. So we're going to be in second gear. And the idea here is to get your car as straight as possible, as quick as possible. So there's a bump here, so just nice and gentle on the throttle. As soon as you get over the bump, then you can smash the accelerator 100%. Let the car run out wide and move over to the right-hand side for this left. Now here, this wall, I don't trust this wall here. It seems to move out. Just We're going to be breaking at the 200, and you can see there it does move out a little bit where the... The blue sign is so try and stay to the right hand side or the left hand side sorry of this red line so we're going to be breaking down into second gear at the 200 board and we're going to be getting as close here as we possibly can be careful though it's really easy just to get too close and clip your car on the inside and on the apex we're going to be on the accelerator there's not a lot of grip here as you exit this turn especially so if you go to the right hand side of this red line that you'll see there i always try and keep the car the left hand side of this red line and the run down to another tricky turn up to third gear braking here at the 200 again you can scrape this wall on a flying lap braking at the 200 and you're going to turn in here earlier than you would think so we're going to be trail braking a bit to the apex to the left of the curb in front of you there there doesn't seem to be much grip you need to be cutting this corner quite considerably and then get on the gas nice and early. Let the car run out wide. You'll see a lot of people making mistakes there, which will then open up an overtaking opportunity into this next complex down here. So here we're going to be up to fifth gear. Breaking at the 400. We're going to be breaking in a straight line down to second gear. Here, the wall dips out to the left. So you want to use a bit of this if you can. And then turn in, just following the wall. This right-hander. Now, I found... The best way to approach this is, is by straddling the curbs. Get the curbs in the middle of the car. Um, if you take too much, it unsettles the car. If you don't take enough, it's a lot slower around here. So second gear, straddle those curbs, get the car back over to the right, a little burst of acceleration, and then we're going to be on the brake, and we're going to be playing with the accelerator and brake at this point. Just trail brake in, accelerator, just keeping the car nice and tight. And then just as we hit these curbs on the left, we're going to be down to first gear, and following this dark rubbered line on the circuit now if you're struggling to overtake somebody here you can drop it in deep here cut it back and try and get the slipstream all the way up to turn number one so if you're following a car you can get by just drop it right down here and then we're going to cut it back and then you can get on the gas maybe 10 feet earlier and then you'll carry that extra speed all the way up to turn number one so another lap, so hug this red line on the right hand side, we're going to be up to 5th gear and we're going to be braking at the 400 board, braking in a straight line, down to 2nd gear, turning early, track opens up, leave it in 2nd, just open up this right, 
Nice and gentle with the throttle. Looking for those boards. So just before we're braking, then turn, get on the gas at the the apex. Here, we we'll want the car straight as we can. So just be gentle with the throttle until the car's pointing where you want it to go. Well, over to the right, just before the 200, we're going to be braking down into second gear. Nice and tight here. Get on the gas. Try and keep the car to the left of this red line. Move the car over to the left, just before the 200. Down to second gear. Cut this one. Everybody's going to make mistakes there this week. You'll see loads of people running into the wall. It's so easy done. So up to fifth gear, brake at the 400. Use a little bit of this there. Straddle this curb. A little bit of acceleration. Then just play with the throttle. Just let your feet do the work here. We're just controlling the car with the accelerator and brake. The steering doesn't really change. We're just changing the direction of the car with the accelerator and brake. Right, so we'll pick up the pace a little bit now. Again, hugging this red line. Nice and tight all the way around. Looking for the 400. Don't cross that blue line. There it is. Got the second gear. Get on the gas earlier than you would think. Just leave it in second here. Open up this right. Try and be gentle on those curbs. Just before the signs, we're going to be turning. Get on the gas before the apex. Same here. We're going to be nice and gentle. Get the car pointing where you want it to go. Then accelerate. Over to the right. Stay to the left of the red line just before the 200. Nice and tight there and accelerate. A little bit wide there, actually. Just before the 200, brake in. Turn it nice and early. Get on the gas early there at the apex. Then up to fifth gear. Just to the 400, brake in, down into second gear. Straddle these. Didn't really straddle those very well. But again, just watch my inputs. I'm just balancing both. Accelerate and brake. Got great round there, but it doesn't matter how you get round there, to be honest. As long as you get round that hairpin, that's the main thing. It's probably the trickiest hairpin on iRacing. That's where the bottleneck is going to be. Right, got one more lap. See if we can get a sub 20. Breaking up to 400. Turning nice and early. Gentle on the accelerator on the way out of that turn. So just before these signs, we're going to be braking, turning. Get on the gas before the apex. Get the car straight as you can, as early as you can. There we go, that's better. Move the car over to the right. Just before the 200, we're going to be braking. Nice and tight here. Get on the accelerator, that's much better. See, not much grip there on exit. Just before the 200, braking. Turning early, get on the gas early. Better. We're looking for the 400. Braking down into second gear. Straddle this. That's better. A little bit of acceleration. And just play with the throttle now and brake. Got the car around. First gear. That's it. Nice and tight. Get on the gas fully. 100%. There we go. That's a sub 20 lap. Yeah, race pace is going to be. Oh, low 19s, high 18s, something like that. I did a uh, 19-1, I think, in practice. There's a lot more time on the track that I've left there. The, the braking markers and, and such are, are a little bit conservative, just so it's nice and safe for you guys. But just bear in mind, just wind everything back a little bit. Don't go 100%. Just wind everything back. Give yourself that little margin of error. And at Long Beach, you will do just fine. Trust me. So here we're going to be going over pit entry and pit exit. Now, pit entry here at Long Beach is actually quite difficult. You've got to be very careful when you get in. But you just need to get in. If you lose a little bit on entry into the pits, well, so be it. It's much more important to get in there safely. So we get round the final turn, as usual, no different. But then the pit entry is hidden away on the right hand side there you can see it so you can carry a little bit of speed in but you need to approach pit entry from the left hand side of the circuit over here and then we're through here still accelerating and then as soon as we get round here 
get on the brakes. You can see there's a white line going across the circuit there. That's kind of what I use as my marker just before there. Get on the brakes, get down into first gear, and get it stopped. But it's really tricky. Now, pit exit here at Belle Isle is quite tricky, actually, because you're exiting the pits pretty much on the racing line. So you need to keep an eye on your relative, make sure that there's no traffic. So we're going to release the pit limiter at the green cone, and then we're going to be accelerating all the way down up to fourth gear. And I break in between the 300 and the 200, and I go down to second gear. So you're breaking a straight line, and you can't cross the yellow line. Wait until you can see the blue line in front of the car there. That's You've got to cross that before you can then turn left. So I stay in second gear. A lot of people will use first, but I think second is a little bit more controllable. I will try to show you those at race speed. So we're going to be going for a pit stop this lap. One thing you do need to bear in mind, when you get round the final turn, you need to make sure that there's nobody on your right-hand side, obviously, because we want to be cutting across to the right. And if somebody's there, then it's going to go very wrong very quickly. So get on the accelerator, and we're going to be moving across, looking for that white line. There it is. And then on the brakes. Now I'll show you pit exit. So pit exit then, first gear, green cone, release the limiter. Accelerate up into fourth gear. In between the three and the two, I'm going to be braking down into second gear. And then keep to the right hand side, make sure that there's nobody there. Keep an eye on your relative, really, really important. So there we go. That's week eight done here at Long Beach. Please let me know down below in the comments how you've got on. What were your lap times before? What were your lap times after? Did I help? Did I cover everything that you wanted to be covered in a guide? Please let me know down below. So next week we go to Summit Point, as we all know. Really tricky circuit for GT3, so you don't want to miss that one. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week. Good luck. See you later. Cheers.